Okay, this is a demonstration uh, of Song Catcher, the application for iPhone. The purpose of the app is to catch your song ideas and sketch them out on the spot. So while you're still in that moment of inspiration and creativity, you can actually build on your ideas. And the interface is designed around this concept. Um, so for that reason, we have two layouts, which is sketch mode and project mode. Sketch mode is basically for speed and ease of use, and it's laid out like a wizard. And the point of doing that is so that people who don't have a lot of experience with music interfaces can easily figure out how to use the program. Uh, and I'll show you at the end of sketch mode how to get into project mode, which is laid out a bit more conventionally. So we have tempo, which is a click track if you want it, or no tempo. I'm going to go with tempo. Um, so you can see there's beats per minute, which you can choose from, and time signatures as well and I'll just go with the standard at the moment and so this is the first idea when you have a a song idea you can just sing it in with audio idea you can play it in with MIDI idea on a keyboard and there's also audio for MIDI which is you can basically sing in your ideas and convert them to a MIDI file and then have an instrument of your choosing play it back to you so you can build up your band as it is from your voice so at the moment I'll start with this This is a test song and it sounds real good, yeah Got the melody, got the hooks Okay, so I'm happy with that part, so I'll just choose to use it And then I have an idea for the harmony, so I can just bang it straight on the top This is a test song and it sounds real good, yeah Got the melody, got the hooks. So I'm vibing that, you know, that works for me. So then I might just chuck down some drums. So in the MIDI section, you can choose your instrument. I'm going to choose a drum kit. You can resize the keyboard to fit however you like the keys to be. I'm going to go with big keys. So now I'm just going to lay down a basic beat that I think would suit what I've come up with. Cool. Use that. You can edit that if you want. And this is where you get a MIDI editor. And that's the data we've just put in. Which you can see, that's the drum beat. And I can snap that to the grid. There we go. There it is. It's happening. Save that. I'm going to finish in sketch mode now because you can see how it works and show you project mode. So when you're done with your idea in sketch mode, you can just flip straight on over or you can just save it and export it from there. So that's what we've come up with. From here I can mix it and this is obviously looks more like Pro Tools or Cubase or whatever you might be familiar with. And here we have a basic mixer. So this here is the lead vocal. It's in order of recording. This is the harmony and that's the drum beat. So I might tuck them a bit under but keep the lead vocal up. And you can rename them pretty easily as well by double tapping on the title block. So this would be, for example, lead vocal. And when I play that back to you, happening. So now I might want to add another part and in project mode you have plus audio at the top and plus MIDI which means basically you want to add an audio track or a MIDI track. Songcatcher has five audio tracks and five MIDI tracks to choose from. So let's say for example I want to add a bass part. I can call it bass if I want. Easy. Depends how organized you are really. Bass. And record, choose your instrument, bass guitar, size your keyboard to suit you. It's 
Something like that. This is a test song and it sounds real good, yeah. Got the melody, got the hooks. Works for me. <laughs> then, let's hear that back. This is a test song and it sounds real good, yeah. Got the melody, got the hooks. When you're happy with your part, you can edit your MIDI data in here as well, just by pressing edit up the top. There it is. I won't snap it. You can then export that. And call it whatever you want. Let's call this hooks. And that will export out of the project as the mix which you've created using the mixer. Close that, and then you just simply export. What do we call this? Hooks, and then it will upload to the server for you.